Hi guys, so this is the second option for the extra credit points if you are interested. Of course you can do both, the door and this one. Uh, it is an architectural arc as you see. In order to do this, uh, the first thing is to create a cylinder. And uh, here is something important that I maybe had to mention you when we when, when, when you uh, were doing the, the, the door is that uh, you can snap the rotation for example to every 15 degrees is something is a good number uh, going to the tool settings uh, that it is uh, here tool settings uh, with the rotation tool uh, selected and uh, here you in snap uh, step snaps you just create uh, 15 degrees so you set it in 15 degrees so you can put it totally vertical or totally precisely horizontally perfect perfectly horizontally as we need it here in the door it, it helps you to to place the door totally closed or the um, the handle totally horizontal if you need it uh, perfectly done. So now we are going here with this cylinder uh, here for the arch to letter R to scale to make it longer. Then uh, we are going to uh, duplicate this with Shift D and uh, uh, letter E to rotate uh, 90 degrees there. So now uh, we have two cylinders and 90 degrees one to each other, so perpendicularly placed. So we are going to make them just one object with uh, um, Boolean, Boolean union. And this step is very important. Uh, you don't see here very well, but these objects have a history that will be a problem if we keep it there, so we are going to delete the history, delete by history with, that, with this icon here. So now with the history deleted, we can continue working. We are going to a uh, um, photographic view, for example this one here, and uh, we are going to change uh, to change to face mode. And we are going to select this not from the middle, not from over the middle, just from a little bit under the middle. So we select select all the um, faces that we have under the middle of the, this uh, shape. So now you can erase history again. It is good. And uh, we are going to erase these uh, sides, this the shapes here. Yeah, let me show you here. D uh, delete. Oh, sorry. Uh, we we'll have to be careful to don't erase the sides, just like this. Delete. Delete. So I am going to. Uh, I'm selecting the center of the circle. So delete. The way I take all of the of these triangles here. Delete. And that's it. This shape is ready to be duplicated to make the other um, the other side. Again, again I erase history. And now I am going to duplicate this thing uh, using um, Shift D. W, oh no, sorry, no W, letter R to scale. It is very important to scale this. We're going to scale this, and if we see now in a transparent view, in number four, you see that this guy had to be bigger to, to be the interior side of this, the other one. So we are going to select vertex, and we are going with W, 
and B lay victory to snap it here. Select them, B lay victory, and there. So again, I select them and keep B lay victory pressed until I am there. Again, here, I select them, B lay victory uh, pressed, I hold it there, and there. We have the whole thing here. Now we are going to go to object mode and for the next step I have to see this uh, with the geopack uh, option here. So you see that the white side is to the interior as here the white side is going up, the white side is going up and the black side is going down and down. So we have to invert this black side here so we will have the blacks, the white side uh, in the interior to visible the white side. So in order to do that, we go to uh, mesh display to reverse, and we have what we want here. Next step is to 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 uh, select both sides, both both objects because they are they are two objects. Here and we go to uh, mesh combine. We combine there them, and this is something that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. But let's see if it works. Otherwise, I will tell you what to do if it doesn't work. We go to uh, the edge edges mode and we double click, for example, there. So we select the whole edges in the border of this object. Same thing in the exterior. Uh, uh, with shift, double click. Sorry, there, there we go. So, um, uh, we have the borders of both objects um, selected there. And the, um, then we are going to create a bridge. I hope it will work here, otherwise I will tell you how to fix the problem. Uh, so we go to edit edit mesh bridge. Yeah, it worked. So if it, if it doesn't work uh, perfectly, the only thing you have to do is to to select um, little parts of the of this uh, uh, wall in order to get this well done. Because sometimes uh, some some confusion happen in the computer, so it doesn't work well sometimes, but now it works perfectly. The next step, we select the faces in the base of this uh, object that we are creating. And uh, here we make a extrude of this thing with a blue arrow always. And uh, this, that we are almost there. So now we create, a, 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 we go to object mode. And we go to W to see where is our, our, our pivot. And the pivot is, I want to place the pivot in the base of this object. So I go to uh, D, V, I hold letter D as David and B as Victory at the same time. And holding those two letters, I go to the green arrow and go down. And you see it is snapped to the base. And the last step is to place this object on the floor. Uh, in order to do that, just we hold uh, the letter B as victory pressed. And uh, no, sorry, not letter B, letter X. So we snap it to, to the grid. And that's it. This is the second object. Um, yeah, I hope it helped. Uh, and uh, good luck with these assignments if you want to do them. Uh, have a good night.